only person in the family who seemed to care about me was my grandmother. When she visited us, she always brought me my favorite chocolates and occasionally slipped a few dollars to me so that I could treat myself later. As the years passed, this blatant favoritism for my twin brother gradually transformed into emotional abuse directed at me. My parents would openly mock my grades and belittle my hobbies. It felt as though no matter how much I tried, I could never meet their expectations of being the perfect child. Although I was good at sports, they barred me from participating in extracurricular activities as they wanted me to concentrate only on studies just like my brother. It was frustrating, and I felt helpless as a child. Later in my sophomore year, I got grounded yet again, and this time, the crime? Having Snapchat on my phone. I had done absolutely nothing wrong except like all teenagers of my age I had downloaded this app to stay connected with my friends. However, according to my parents, this was a huge crime and a breach of their trust as they had forbidden me from communicating with my friends. They went batshit crazy on me and threw all my stuff around the room. They then took the doors of my hinges and told me that I would have no privacy as long as I lived under their roof. Watching my parents abuse me this way, my twin brother instead of supporting me made my life worse. The toxic environment created by our parents' unjust actions allowed him to exploit the situation to his advantage. He adopted a pattern of lying about me, falsely accusing me of things I never did so that he could get away with everything. If he stole something, he'd effortlessly shift the blame to me, and my parents, already inclined to believe the worst about me, readily accepted his lies. He would demean me in front of my friends at school and would make fun of my appearance. Despite this, I had a wide circle of friends at school because I was approachable and open to making connections. My twin, however, struggled socially, and he started to resent that I could talk to people while he, as an introvert, felt awkward. This jealousy reached a boiling point during our 14th birthday party when no one showed up for him on his birthday. I have no idea why his friends did that to him, but in stark contrast, my friends took me out for ice cream and I had an overall wonderful day. This infuriated my brother further. To take revenge, my brother began to spread false rumors of-
Card. Bitch.
This is why you don't fucking bully people. Because your ass is going to get fucking handed to you. Gonna come down here. You know what I like to do to you little bitches? Make your sorry asses bleed out. That's how we're playing this game today, bitches. Yeah, you shouldn't fuck around and find out, now should you? Bye, bitch! Uh, you what, you guys wanted to fucking try to punk me? I don't think so. Fuck off with all that. Goddamn Twitch TV -er, wannabe fucking bullies. Hmm. <sighs> 